Hi, I'm Attachment Specialist Adam Lane Smith, and today I want to talk to you about why you do not need to have sex with someone before marriage to make sure you're a good match. This, this idea has been floating around for quite a long time, and it's justification on the internet for all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm here to tell you it's crap. You do not need to have sex with somebody before marriage just to make sure you're compatible, because that's really not how long-term sex lives work. That's how Tinder matches work. That's how one night stands work. And that's how friends with benefits works. It is not how love and sex inside of a long-term committed relationship works. You do not just enter a relationship great at sex because you've never had it before. And you don't need to go out and have sex with 40 people to practice being good at sex so that you can then get into a relationship. That is really not how this works. You get into a relationship and you start communicating and you share your needs. You build emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy is a key component outside of sex that affects how much a woman especially enjoys that sex, especially in a long-term relationship. The female sex drive is primarily built on emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy, feeling connected, feeling secure, feeling useful, feeling loved. That long term in a relationship is what determines how your sex life will probably be 10 years into the relationship. It's not all just hot, wild passion just because the other person's good at sex. It's we are deep and connected and loving and that makes me want to have sex with you. That's how that works. That is not just woohoo, you know how to have sex. We're compatible. Let me tell you right now, every human being on earth is compatible to mate with every other human being on earth. It's just how our species functions. It's all about learning. It's all about connectedness and it's all about the relationship. Learning to communicate about what you do and don't like and do and don't need and do and don't want in that relationship and having ongoing communication during that sex act with your partner, with a loving partner especially, makes all the difference. That is what makes enjoyment of sex long-term better. And being able to say, hey, I'd like to do this. Hey, let's try that. Hey, let's have this fun. Hey, let's build this swing into the ceiling. Whatever it might be, being able to have that conversation is not something that you just naturally pick up. You don't just do that. It's learned. Everybody is bad at sex the first time. And you can get better in a relationship where the other person is giving you honest feedback. That's one of the best places to learn how to get more compatible in sex is to become more compatible. It doesn't just happen like, hey, we should be having sex before we get married just to make sure. No, it's we should make sure we have good, healthy communication and good emotional intimacy before we get married. So we are both capable of building a life, not only in our sex life, but in our married life, in every part of our life so that we have a healthy functioning marriage overall. And that will lead to a better sex life. Sexual sexual behavior is just innate. It's learned. It's learned and it's gained through deep communication and deep understanding in emotional intimacy. The people who want, uh, who say, oh, you, you better have sex before you get married to make sure you're compatible. They're just looking for physical intimacy. They're looking for an excuse not to get married. They're looking for an excuse not to commit. Oh, well, he just wasn't a very good kisser. So we just couldn't get married. Well, that's a learned behavior. Did you talk to him about it? Did you say, hey, you know what? Do this. Well, no, he should just know. That's not how that works. What those people are really saying is sex is the only thing that matters. Because I don't believe in emotional intimacy, only physical intimacy. I feel really good when I'm I'm having sex with somebody. And that's all that matters. So he better be perfect at it. That's not really how that works. What they're also saying is, it has to be good without me being open or, or honest about it because I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to say what I like. I don't want to do that. That's embarrassing. That's disgusting. I, I don't want to do that. He should just know. Or she should just know. That's not how sex works. That's not how love works. That's not how it works. That's an excuse. That is somebody chasing physical intimacy and false intimacy because all they believe in is sex. They're chasing the fake stuff and we're ignoring the good. They're rejecting the good. They're rejecting real love by saying, well, we just weren't sexually compatible. Let me tell you, you can have, you can have sex with 300 people and find somebody else who's had sex with 300 people. And you could say, well, we both like sex the same amount and we're really good at it. And then you get married and have a horrific marriage. (laughs) It happens. 
That happens. If you are basing your entire marriage on sexual compatibility by having lots of sex with lots of people before your marriage, probably not headed for a good marriage. You're probably headed for five divorces. Actually, what's probably going to happen is this is your excuse for not getting married. Get married. Have sex. Talk about sex. Get married to somebody that you could talk to se- talk about sex with. Get married to somebody that you can be open with. Watch my other videos. Why men enjoy it when you communicate during sex. It's actually called well, How to Bond Him to You with Vasopressin. There's all kinds of ways to build that intimate connection. And your sexual compatibility will change based on those emotional needs and based on the emotional intimacy. Build that together. You're not going to get into it perfectly. You build it together. That's how good sex happens. You build good sex through practice together. Do that. Do that. Stop making excuses. Fix your attachment. Thank you for watching. I'm Adam Lane Smith, attachment specialist. And if this has been helpful, or if you are furious and angry at me right now for challenging your thoughts and your way of life, please leave me a comment, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps spread the message. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Until next time.